Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from Car Wow. So I'm sat in an Audi RS3. Next to me is an Audi RS Q8. And next to that is an Audi R8 V10 Performance Spider. And we're going to have a drag race. And you might think that it's a foregone conclusion, but it's not. And it's not because this RS3 and that RS Q8 are both tuned. So let me tell you about these cars. This RS3 has a 2.5 litre, five cylinder turbo petrol. Normally it has 400 horsepower, but this one has been tuned up to 550 horsepower with an ECU remap and a revised intercooler and intake system it's also got 730 newton meters of torque so that should be pretty good it's got the same quattro all-wheel drive system same seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox in terms of the price this car 2018 model if you want this now with the tune on it £47,000. Now let's move on to the Audi RS Q8. 4 litre twin turbo V8. Normally 600 horsepower but an ECU remap has taken it up to 710 horsepower. No idea what the torque is. The standard car has 800 newton meters so that's probably running about 900 based on my expertise. It's got an 8 speed torque convert automatic gearbox but it does have launch control. Big heavy SUV that weighs in at 2.3 tonnes. Cost of that car £115,000. Finally we come to the R8 V10 Performance Spider. So that has a 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10 with 620 horsepower and 580 newton meters of torque. Drives all four wheels via a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox with launch control. And that car is quite heavy really for a supercar. Comes in at around 1.7 tonnes. It's expensive as well, £162,000. Now this is going to be a really interesting drag race. And if you like drag races, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Yeah, if you haven't done so already, do it. And hit the bell icon to turn in notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. Buy, sell, car, wow. Now before we race, we're going to do the custom car wow sound check. So I'm going to rev up this RS3. Let's give it some revs. Oh yes, there is no soft limiter here. I think that's part of the ECU remap. <laughs> Oh, it sounds wicked. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm loving that. Now, let's have a listen to the RSQ8. Is there still a soft limiter on that? About 3.8 is where this is at. I think that ECU ream up on that should have a removal of the soft limit. I don't know why you wouldn't do that. Anyhow, let's move on to the R8. Surely that must sound the best. <laughs> yeah, soft limiter on that as well, isn't there? It certainly is. 3,000 RPM. Well, it looks like I win that challenge. Now let's race. Come on. <laughs> oh my God, this flies. Oh, it's close, but the R8's going to do it. Oh. Oh. So, R8 won that, didn't it? And uh, you lost in the RSQ8. Yeah, but not by much. I mean, look at the size of this thing. I reckon we can go quicker, though. Great launch. The R8's got it though. So quick. but not as fast as the R8, not far behind though. So then what exactly happened? While the R8 won, completing the standing quarter mile in 11.1 seconds, the RS3 took 11.5 seconds, and the RSQ8 was last with a time of 11.7 seconds. Okay, now we're having a rolling race from 50 miles an hour with the cars in comfort mode and in automatic mode for the gearbox. I am going to call this in. Come on then, get level guys, get level. Three, two, one, go, kick down. Oh, yes. Oh, it's similar to the drag race, really. Here comes the half mile. That's a half mile. This was pretty decent on the kick down. It almost matched that R8, but the torque converter didn't seem to kick down quite as well as the two dual clutch gearboxes. This dropped pretty good, I thought. I, I thought you were going to throw them off there, but it seemed to keep up pretty good. Okay, so there was a load of interference on the radio because I basically think the radio disagreed with what you were saying and it agreed with me. Let's move on. Okay, we're going to do the same thing again, but this time the cars are in their sportier settings and manual mode for the gearbox, starting in third gear. So I'm going to call this in. Three, two, one, go. 
Oh, this picks up so sweet. Where's that R8? I'll go to the R8 to the half mile. Here he comes now. Dropped him. And what happened to the R8? You're not level with us. Was there a problem? Feel free to respond, R8, or are you just too embarrassed by your performance? I mean, I was level with Sam. You guys pulled away quickly. It took me a little while for this natural air spray engine to wind up, but. Yeah, so you got beat, right? I got beaten, yeah. And you came last, right? Uh, no, I came past the RSQA before the half mile. Oh, okay. I didn't see that. I was too far ahead. Now we're going to have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. Whichever car brakes in the shortest distance wins. Now, if you'd rather watch a drag race with some other super high performance SUVs, including that RSQ8, click on the pop-out banner up there. I'll find the link in the description below. If not, and you'd rather see this brake test, stay with me. It's going to happen pretty much in the next moment or so. Now, here's the line. Oh, yes. Where's the R8? Where's the R8? Right, I don't know. I know that I beat the RSQ8, which is a very heavy car, so there's no surprise there. But did I beat the R8? RSQ8, because you're such a big pile of green, I can't see where the R8 is. Did I beat it or did he beat me? It's really close. I think by maybe an inch you have it. Okay, so I think you need to just move forward out the way. So... It all depends on where the wheels are, I guess, or the, no the nose. Let, let me get out. Sorry to do this, and it's really boring, but um, just bear with us. We need to get the result. Oh, I don't bloody know. Okay, so I had no idea which one. It's, it's up to you. So we put a pinned comment, right? And you get to vote whether the RA or the RS3 won the brake test. So cast your vote now. Now, before I go, I'd just like to say a huge thanks to the people who have lent us the RS3 and the RSQ8. The link to their accounts are in the description. Go over there and say thanks for lending back your car because it always helps us get more cars to drag race for you to watch. <laughs>